Hey everybody, welcome to this not so live edition of Turnaround Live. We're Scott and Rachel and we just wanted to drop in from our hike today to share just a, a little bit of an input of the power of perspective. Check out this beautiful view. We are here at G Creek, one of our favorite places to hike in East Tennessee. And um, first of all, we wanted to welcome all of our new members, all of you who have been, um, who just joined our group this week or recently, we wanna say hello and welcome. If you're looking to strengthen your marriage, you're in the right place. Uh, we are Scott and Rachel. We help committed Christian couples finally end the cycles of conflict, negativity, and disconnection and reclaim the love, passion, and playfulness that they once had. Amen. So hopefully you can hear us okay. It's pretty loud out here, we get that. Uh, but it is beautiful. Our daughter's helping us to film today. Anna is getting some of the picturesque views up here. And there is a lot of power to be had in just stepping out and going out into the woods. In fact, I was just talking to my kids last night about how we as a family were able to thrive in the year 2020. Challenges all around, unprecedented challenges. And one of the key ways I believe is that we spent a lot of time getting out outside, looking, getting out in God's creation, and getting a different perspective. It's the same world, but we get out here, it's so peaceful, and you hear the water flowing, and you see the little critters running around, and you're in the beauty of God's creation, and simply by changing your perspective, everything can change. There's all kinds of crazy going on still. There's plenty going on in DC that we don't understand, but we can step out of all the crazy, even the crazy in our own lives, and get the perspective by just stepping in to a new place and seeing the beauty that's all around us. Yeah, we were thinking of the story of Roger Bannister, speaking of the new perspective. And I know many of you have heard the story of this um, runner who broke the four minute mile back in 1954 for millennia. Mm -hmm. Runners thought it was literally physically and physiologically impossible for the human body to run a mile in less than four minutes. People had tried and tried and tried and failed and failed and failed until Roger Bannister did it in 1954. I think he ran the minute, uh, the, the mile in three minutes, 59 seconds and four tenths of a second or something like that. And when he did it, it was like more than just, wow, uh, someone can do it. Because he did it in rain and cold and, it, and the weather wasn't perfect. And, uh, and he did it in front of a relatively small crowd and people were blown away. And just by him doing it, was able to change the perspective for so many runners and then they were able to do it. I think that year, um, actually that very month, other people were able to do it and then that, that next year it was like over 300 people beat the four minute mile. And it was just by believing that it was possible, by getting that perspective, that everything changed for runners in general. And we're not really runners, as you can probably notice, but we love that perspective of seeing somebody else do something and then you say, I could do that too. I could do that too. And I was thinking about our amazing uh, clients that we worked with a few months back, Kelly and Beth, and guys, they were such an amazing couple because they came to us so broken and so um, in need of some help. And in just a couple of short months, they were able to get their marriage turned around. And then by them being brave enough to share their story and share their perspective, we have two new couples that have enrolled and said, if they can do it, we can too. And there's something about that that's so powerful, right? There is, there is. And if you, let's just lay it out there. If you've been in a marriage, like it was for us for a number of years, and it didn't get better, like we try stuff and it got worse and worse, and you begin to resign yourself to thinking, it's everything we try, it only gets worse, and it's not getting better, and you begin to believe that it's going to always be this way. But I'm here to tell you guys, if you get a change of perspective, and sometimes it might take somebody outside of the two of you to step in and help you to turn your heads and to see that different perspective, then you can realize things can change. When you realize that there is a, a completely new normal out there for you, a completely different way of operating in the marriage, that you don't throw out the memories, you don't have to dig into all the past to, to make those changes, you, you make some shifts and everything can change and everything can be beautiful. Imagine if you were able to show up, not only in your marriage, but in life, not getting stuck in the ruts of discouragement and fear. Guys, there's fear everywhere right now. Imagine if you could break out of that and have a whole new perspective on life, marriage, parenting, grandparenting, work. That's the type of thing we're talking about. When you can shift perspective on those things, 
everything can change. And that's exactly like Kelly and Beth and many of the other clients that we've had that are really getting that incredible breakthrough. And the real breakthrough they're getting is just stepping back and looking at things from a different perspective. Getting a whole new perspective is the power to change the way you've done things, and it's the power to dream about what is possible for the future. And we're here to tell you when you make those shifts, significant change can happen. So I wanna share with you today, if you've not checked out our master class, our free master class, the five simple shifts that couples that use to make a tremendous turnaround in their marriage, you need to check that out today because it's extremely powerful helping couples and even individuals to step back and say, wait a minute, what if it wasn't this way? Wait a minute, what if I could see things from this perspective? And I'm here to tell you, things can radically change. Yes. Am I right or am I right? You are right, because the truth is, is that we have been committed in our marriage for 25 years, but we have not been happy for 25 years. We had some very, very dark years of frustration, of loneliness, of depression, of anxiety, of, of, of pride and, and bitterness and unforgiveness. And I wanna tell you that you don't have to stay there. Right. If we can do it, we can show you the way too, and it's possible. So we do want you to check out our masterclass, the five shifts Christian couples can make to get a radical yeah. turnaround in their marriage. And we want you to know that you're welcome here, you're not alone, and a shift in perspective can literally change everything. And if someone else can do it, you can too. It's Absolutely. possible. It is possible. So we want you to check that out. We'll link that below. We're really glad you're um, checking this out. And if you are, let us know uh, in the comments whether you're, uh, well, to, let us know where you are, uh, where, where, you, where you're from, and um, how we can serve you in this group. And so we want to welcome you. Yes. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I just want to say, you're saying that it wasn't fun being married to someone that was depressed all the time. Uh, no. No, it wasn't. Anna, was it fun having a depressed dad? No. <laughs> Guys, I'm here to tell you, everything can change, especially when God is in the process. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for dropping in today. Bye-bye.